Mr. Speaker, members, I believe Ryan. Ryan, are you, where are you at, Ryan? Would you please stand? Would you please stand, Ryan? Ryan Womack is a pediatric cancer survivor. Let's welcome him here today. Ryan and his family and, and many others came here today in Frankfurt to take part in the event surrounding Childhood Cancer Advocacy Day at the Capitol. Ryan's an esteemed young resident of the Lawrenceburg community. Uh, I first, he was diagnosed with undifferentiated embryonal sarcoma on April 26, 2018, just before his 10th birthday. He was a baseball player and had just started his spring season when he began suffering some symptoms that would ultimately lead to his diagnosis. At that time, there were only 212 cases of this particular type of cancer on record in the entire world for the past 42 years. Ryan began his treatment, including chemotherapy at the University of Kentucky Marquee Cancer Center, and in August 2018, underwent a liver resection after chemotherapy had shrunk his tumor in half. He was granted remission status and his health continues to be monitored. Since that time, this extraordinary young man has traveled with his oncology group to speak of Governor Andy Bashir, members of the Kentucky General Assembly, and other state and local leaders advocating for pediatric cancer research funding. Ms. Speaker, members of the body, I believe it is back, Mr. Gentleman from McCracken won in 2018. For the very first time, we put a line item in the budget of $2.5 million each year dedicated to pediatric cancer research. At that time, Kentucky was the first state in the nation to do that, and I've been told there are now seven states across the country that have done that. We continued that appropriation in the 2022 budget beside that $2.5 uh, annual appropriation, there was 3.75 million additional appropriation made. This year in House Bill 6, that just passed out is over in the Senate, that 2.5 million appropriation has been raised to $7.5 million in each year of the biennium, a $10 million increase in the budget. Research is so essential. Uh, I had a chance to talk with a doctor from Norton's in Louisville this morning, and he talked about the challenges not only of recovery, but of helping these children restore their life to normal after they go through had many complications. And it's because uh, of people like Ryan and many others who have advocated this body that we're able to do this. I want to thank the members for passing this out and hopefully uh, we'll continue to see this all the way through for the final budget for this year and look forward to the good that it can do. Mr. Speaker, I move adoption. 